Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm your host, Melanie Purcell. On today's episode, we're going to talk about what's going on in Worcester County, some great events coming up, also going to visit Abbey with Secrets, and of course, the Art League of Ocean City, so stay tuned. Support your local farmers and individuals with fresh produce and homemade items on Maryland's coast. Farmers markets are held weekly throughout Worcester County. Berlin is held on Sundays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Thursdays in Snow Hill from 12 to 5 p.m. Fridays in Pocomoke starting at 7 a.m. Saturdays in Ocean Pines from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Ocean City on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays from 8 a.m. to noon. There is something for everyone at these market events. Learn more about local farmers markets at visitmarylandscoast.org. Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism and Economic Development here on Maryland's coast. And we've got the beautiful Pocomoke River behind us. We're in Snow Hill today. And I have with me Larissa McAllister with the town of Snow Hill and Margot Resco, who is with the Blues Jam Committee. So we're gonna talk about the 12th annual Snow Hill Blues Jam. You don't wanna miss it. So ladies, why don't we kick it off, Margot? Well, this year I'm excited to announce that we have Deanna Bogart, who is multi-award winning. I mean, she just won the Blues Instrumentalist Horn Player of the Year um, five times in a row, not in a row, but five times already in her career. Um, Multi-talented sax, saxophone player, piano player. Um, she calls her style blues-fusion, blues fusion, but <laughs> I, I mean, it. there's a lot of different stuff coming out of her and um, we feel pretty fortunate to have her. And um, being a musician yourself, yeah. you have a perfect ear for that. But <laughs> um, why don't we talk a little bit about date, time, place of the event coming up? Okay, go ahead. So that's going to be at the Old Firehouse, 212 West Green Street, right in downtown Snow Hill, 7 o'clock on September 23rd. And you can buy tickets on eventbrite.com for $30. Oh wow, great deal. And of course, if you haven't been to Snow Hill, I mean, it's just an absolutely charming, beautiful town. Um, you know, obviously we've got the river here, but lots of great shops and restaurants. And of course, our office is here, so we have a little welcome <laughs> center. And, um, but why don't we talk a little bit about the history of the event? And I know you were really part of the inaugural event. Um, so back in 2008, there were two couples who decided they wanted to have a nice big party in the middle of winter <laughs> that involved blues, and that was uh, Bill and Debbie Raleigh and Mike and Diane Armstrong, and uh, they, they hired us to play, and we all had this big winter blues jam, and then we kept going every year, sold out every year, kept bringing in regional talent, and then we'd have local talent opening up. and. Um, over the years, we've had greats such as Burley Strand and Daryl Davis and last year, Bill Kirchin. Um, we had a little pause there during COVID. It was supposed to happen March 14th, 2020. Oh. So <laughs> you can imagine our disappointment. Um, so then uh, two years later, last year, we finally got Bill Kirchin in, which was a big get and a um, great night. So we're excited again to have it, to keep on going with it, with Deanna. And uh, the Snow Hill Firehouse is such a cool, intimate setting. It's historic, it's um, got the exposed brick. Um, and speaking of downtown, Larissa, why don't you talk a little bit about the Arts and Entertainment District and the, um, you know, the proceeds from this event, how, how they really benefit the town. So this event uh, was really, really designed, as Margot said, um, you know, to be kind of a, a community event and to, um, you know, offer a, kind of a, an, a musical performance, um, you know, that everybody could kind of engage in and participate in. Um, and the, the spinoff of that is uh, that it is also an opportunity to raise funds for our arts and entertainment district, um, which has the same goals. So uh, community revitalization through artistic and cultural um, opportunities. So. Uh, this event for the last uh, 11 years and now for the 12th year will be uh, going to benefit the Arts Entertainment District which is responsible for all of our events, for some of our outdoor art um, and you know some, some different sponsoring some different classes, artistic classes. So um, we really appreciate this event and uh, you know we look forward to, to having it again and to continue having it. Um, and if, if you're interested in sponsoring the event, um, you know, feel free to reach out to the Town of Snow Hill, Town Hall, uh, 
Great, thank you ladies so much. I'm really excited. I haven't been yet, but I plan to go oh, this year. Come. I'm definitely gonna be there. And you know, just to come to the town, speaking of the arts and entertainment, I mean, the painted windows in Snow Hill, mm -hmm. the art galleries. I mean, it's just an absolutely wonderful experience. So if you haven't been to Snow Hill, be sure to come down for this event and just maybe to come down to shop and, and eat too. So, but thank you so much. Music, blues, barbecue, dancing. Darn good time. All right, thanks ladies. <laughs> Thank you. Most folks driving on Route 90 in Worcester County, Maryland are headed straight to the beautiful beaches in Ocean City. But there's a little gem of a park just west of the resort that you should explore, the Isle of Wight Nature Park. Managed by Worcester County Recreation and Parks and bordered by the St. Martin's River, Isle of Wight Bay, and Assawoman Bay, the park features 12 acres of marsh and forest located south of Route 90. For visitors, the Isle of Wight Nature Park has a parking and picnic area, two piers for fishing and crabbing, and a small sandy beach for launching kayaks and paddle boards. Wildlife watching is great here year round. During the summer months, you'll find herons and egrets in the marsh. During the winter, waterfowl can be found bobbing in the waters of the coastal bays. The pier offers great views of the bays and the fantastic Ocean City skyline, as well as a high and dry platform for recreational crabbing and fishing. You can launch a kayak or paddleboard from the small sandy beach here at the park and explore the bays and the St. Martins River. Although located just five minutes from the bustling resort businesses in Ocean City, the Isle of Wight Nature Park offers a refuge to those seeking a nearby connection to nature during their vacation. So on your next trip to Ocean City along Route 90, stop off and visit the Isle of Wight Nature Park when you're traveling Maryland's beach and beyond. Windsor Teak Furniture Famic Island offers the world's best drop leaf folding tables with 20 different versions in stock. They can be used with one leaf up or with two. And when both leaves are folded down, the table can be stored in eight inches of space. We have drop leaf tables in dining, counter, and bar height and they can seat from two to six people. We have a table for you. Drop by our showroom and smell the teak. Or check us out at windsorteakfurniture.com and remember, teak lasts a lifetime. Hi, I'm Kebby at Hit The Deck Patio on Route 54. Come on in and let me show you around. All of our furniture is made in America. It's very high quality with a minimum 15 year warranty. We have a lot of options available for immediate purchase, or we can custom order. We're here to help. When this wears off the bottom of your chair, we have replacement parts. We also assist with warranty claims. When you shop and hit the deck, you don't have to wait for a sale because you know you're always getting a good price. Come have a seat. We can't wait to meet you. Hey everyone, welcome to the Ocean City Center for the Arts. I'm Rena Thaler, Executive Director of the Art League of Ocean City. I'm joined by Megan Buraclo, our Education and Marketing Assistant, and we're here to tell you why art matters this month and every month. Brought to you by our friends from the Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. So Megan, every month I ask you what's showing in the gallery, and this month you're actually one of the artists that are exhibiting here. I am, I'm very, very excited. So when you come into the Thaler Gallery this month, you're gonna see artwork by me, John Schistler, and Gordon Inyard with our show, True to Life, Contemporary Realism. Uh, so and you are a, a realist painter, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I love the works here because some of them look like you're looking at photographs, but then you get close and you realize, wow, those are paintings. Yes. It's just a great um, variety of still lifes and... Um, some different architectural paintings by mm -hmm. Gordon, um, some landscape as well. So really excited for everybody to come check it out. So come see the show in August. Mm -hmm. And this month is one of our highlights because in addition to our gallery shows here at the Art Center, we have our event, Artist Paint OC, the plein air event. Yes. So, 
So Artists Paint OC, as you said, is our plein air event. Um, we have 50 artists paint in and around Ocean City, August 9th through the 13th. Mm -hmm. And they just set their easels up all over town yeah. and uh, on the beaches, on the bays. It's kind of cool to spot the artists painting. And yeah. that plein air is a movement that started with the Impressionists when they were able to finally put paint into tubes mm -hmm. and take it outdoors. Before that, everything was done in studio, kind of like the paintings that are here in the realism show. Um, but it's great that the public gets to see the art being made. And uh, I think last year we had like 300 paintings that people created during yeah. the event. Yeah, and they're competing for almost $6,000 in prizes. Um, and we'll have a wet paint sale Saturday, August 12th, um, as well as a quick paint competition on Sunday. Yeah, and this year we have an extra component to the event because we have the kids involved yeah. too. <laughs> kids Paint OC, so people can come out and see artwork by um, children ages 6 to 17 on Sunday. It's kind of like a festival going on here yeah. at the Art Center. Absolutely. And, uh, and then that's not, there's more this month too because we have our um, artists, our film challenge competition. Yeah, right? so it's our annual um, OC Film Challenge by the Ocean City Film Festival, um, August 19th. So we asked um, filmmakers to make films um, about Ocean City with a specific line of dialogue and certain iconic um, Ocean right. City Right, so they had to create a film during the month of July that was in and about Ocean City, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna screen them here August 19th. Um, 7 p.m. we'll gather to mingle, and then films start at 8 p.m. Yes. So, uh, It'd be fun to see what they came up with. I think we had over 15 entries already. Yeah, so that's great. So great to see their, um, what they did. But people can stop by the galleries here on 94th Street every day. We're open seven days a week, year round. Um, check out all the exhibits, classes, and our events online, ocart.org. So come out and find us. Sign up and win up to a cool 500 and free play instantly. <laughs> oh, shell yeah. Reel in big jackpots via shark at the tables. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Join us at Sun Outdoors Frontier Town, where from Memorial Day to Labor Day, we've got something for everyone. Splash down our five water slides, including two brand new twisting slides. Kids will love the western theme pool with small slides, splash areas, and water guns. Adults, don't think we forgot you. Relax in our private cabanas with food and drink service. Or visit our full-service restaurant, the Lazy River Saloon, for a bigger meal. Purchase advanced tickets for the water park online at CampFrontierTown.com. Step back in time to the Wild West as you are transported to an authentic Western town featuring daily gunfights, Western shopping, and a real saloon. Be sure to check out our Native American show every day that teaches the traditions, dance, and history of our resident Native American family. The Texas Trick Riders return to perform their death-defying acts on horseback every night. These real stunt men and women will show you things you've only ever seen in the movies. The best part? The Western experience is free for everyone to enjoy. So mosey on down to Sun Outdoors Frontier Town as we celebrate 60 years of family fun. Stay at our full-service campground with incredible amenities and activities, including our deli, mini golf, arcade, campers only swimming pool, a high ropes course, and multiple restaurants and bars. Comfort camping at its finest, Everything you need in one place with our camp store. Ice, firewood, and more. You never have to leave the property. Try boating, kayaking, jet skiing, and fishing from the bay on our beautiful private pier. Enjoy spacious RV sites, cozy cabins, deluxe park models, and rustic tent camping. Or have a genuine Western experience in our covered wagons. Hello, and welcome to Secrets, Jamaica, USA, located on 49th Street in Ocean City, Maryland. Secrets is open Sunday through Friday at 11 a.m. and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Relax on the rafts or grab a table in the water while jamming out with one of our house DJs and enjoying one of our specialty cocktails. Dine under the palms in our outdoor tropical paradise and enjoy our brand new summer menu filled with great drinks and delicious eats all overlooking the bay. We have happy hour from 4 to 7, Monday through Thursday. Starting at 5 p.m., come out to see live entertainment every night. Check out all live music and special events at secrets.com backslash calendar. Don't miss the Amish Outlaws August 13th and 27th. Calling all servers. Calling all servers. You could be the best, but are you the fastest? Join us August 15th for our 12th annual fastest server competition. Local servers will compete in our beach obstacle course while carrying a tray full of drinks. 
Registration is $20 and proceeds will be donated to the DJ Wax Recovery Fund. Registration starts at noon and the competition starts at 1230. Join us for great drink specials, 50-50 raffles, and epic basket prizes for the winners. Come support your local servers and jam out with DJ Con Air. Have you taken a tour of the distillery yet? Tours are available every day, 11 to 5 p.m. See how we make our award-winning spirits and learn about the Prohibition era with over a million dollars of antiques from the early 1900s. Tours are $15 and include three tastings of your choice. Make your reservation today at secretsdistilling.com. The new Atlantic Beverage Center is open every day at 9 a.m. Located at 51st Street in the new Area 51 building with over 3,500 square feet, the ABC offers a wide selection of wine, beer, and spirits. Don't miss the wine and spirits tasting on August 22nd from 3 to 5 p.m. Multiple vendors with great selections along with the OCT, our very own collaboration with Hoop Tea and Secrets Distilling Lemon Drop Vodka. Stop in from 2 to 5 and take 10% off everything in the store, including Secrets Ready to Drink Cocktails, Orange Crush, Electric Lemonade, and Big Bamboo. Take advantage of the Secrets Distilling Bottle Buyback Program, Bring in an empty bottle of Secret Spirits and get $2 off your next Secret Spirits purchase. That includes the new handles. Stop down on 49th Street, whether you're going to Secrets, Secrets Distilling, or the new ABC store, find us and get lost. Visit Secrets Jamaica, USA, and make any day the perfect getaway. Join us for delicious eats in our Bayfront dining area. And treat yourself to a tropical drink or local craft beer under the palms. Then, when the sun goes down, the fun heats up. Home to the Morley Hall nightclub, Secrets is your entertainment hotspot with live music every night. Secrets Jamaica, USA. Find us and get lost. Hey guys, it's Dorian and Wes and also Reed. <laughs> yeah, we're going to ride awesome rides. They're going to be super fun. Okay, we're going inside. It's going to be such a fun time. What I want is Splash Mountain. Yep, Splash the Pirate. We're at the Pirate Bucket. We're going to um, go under and the place and it's going to be super fun.
I'm Zach Bova, brand manager at Barnhill Preserve. Barnhill Preserve is home to over 30 species of unique animal ambassadors. We like to focus going hands-on and up close with many of them. Our main ticket is the encounter tour ticket. Sloths have a low energy level because they're conserving energy that they might need to escape a predator or actually climb to the ground. The encounter tour lasts about 90 minutes and you get to go hands-on and up close with many unique animal ambassadors. Have you ever kissed a camel or hopped around with a kangaroo? Well, you can on the encounter tours. You can walk right up and go hands-on with our camels, Ben and Jerry. You can walk across the way to the capybara and watch him. And we've also got a brand new otter enclosure for you to go hands-on with the little guys, even if you're not doing an otter swim. In the kangaroo walkabout, you can lay down right next to a kangaroo and pet them and feel how soft they are. Not to mention, in the sloth room, you can hand feed a sloth. And when you're done with those encounters, we've got a small animal experience in the porch. We've got bearded dragons, snakes, and even some otter time. The entire encounter tour lasts about 90 minutes. It's super fun and super wild. Our special events include kangaroo yoga every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, munching with monkeys every Monday, kangaroos and comedy at the end of every month, and of course, Red, White, and Rue, our 4th of July celebration. To find out more and book your tickets, visit barnhillpreserve.com. And of course, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at barnhill.de. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you get an opportunity to visit and get wild. Get wild on your beach vacation at Barnhill Preserve. Join us for fun events happening all summer long. Find your zen at kangaroo yoga or a playful breakfast at munching with monkeys. Slow down at sipping with sloths or laugh it up at kangaroos and comedy. We also offer daily otter swims, a unique experience only offered at a few locations in the U.S. or schedule an encounter tour and meet our animal ambassadors up close. Barn Hill Preserve, the world of animals is waiting for you. Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism here on Maryland's coast. And I have a guest with me today, Ms. Ivy Wells. How are Hello. you, Ivy? I'm she good. is the Director of Economic and Community Development for the town of Berlin, one of the gems here on Maryland's coast in Worcester County. And we are at a really unique location today we in are. front of Oxer Studios. And so we're gonna talk all things art. The arts are alive in Worcester County and especially in Berlin. In so Berlin. what's going on, Ivy? So we are a designated arts and entertainment district. And what that means is we have a variety of public art. We've got a, a ton of live music venues here. We have right behind us glass blowing studio Studio, Jeff Oxer Designs, uh, another glass blowing studio, Beach Memories. We've got a historical mural, we've got a fun mural, and we have an interactive mural. Oh, wow. And one of our newest and most prominent murals here in Berlin is the Reverend Charles Albert Tindley. We were just recently there for the unveiling, and that is just such a spectacular sight. So kind of how did that come about, and what is the significance there? Sure. Well, what people don't realize is that Reverend Tindley was born here in Berlin. He became famous as the godfather of gospel music, and, and we needed to celebrate that. We needed to showcase who Reverend Tindley was, and we dedicated an entire wall to him. Um, a local musician wrote a song about him and it, it's a really special project. We feel very fortunate to be able to work on that. Yeah, and, and at the unveiling I know the family was here and it was just such a moving and special time 
for the residents of Berlin and then all the visitors that to come here and, and experience that mural. So it just it, it was a really great opportunity to showcase somebody who meant so much to Berlin and we, we decided to own that he was born here and I think not Philadelphia, right? <laughs> right, right. He was Berlin born. And the interesting thing about the mural is that everyone got to watch the artist paint the mural while mm -hmm. it was going on and that was just spectacular. And it looks like that that wall on Bruder Hill it was made for that mural. Yeah. And I know there was a lot of discussion of where does it go and a lot of work went into it and so I think it just turned out perfectly. Yeah, so. it was a beautiful mural. And I know that the Beach to Bay Heritage area uh, really was instrumental in making that happen and we were kind of a part of that whole initiative and so yes. with tourism and economic development so it's really exciting to see something like that come alive. And you know speaking of the arts you know you can come and experience that in Berlin but also how about the dining? So we have become a culinary destination with a variety of restaurants, bake shops. We have a chocolatier here, ice cream. You can never go hungry in Berlin. Yeah, and, and every time you come, it's a different experience. Completely, sure. completely different every time. And, you know, people like to get ice cream. They walk around at night. They enjoy the beautiful art. Um, the other thing about our downtown shops is that they feature local art in their shops. Mm -hmm. And many of these, many of the artists like to showcase their work in our downtown shops. And the Worcester County Arts Council is right here in Berlin. And so you can go in there, you can become a part of that organization and you can display your art in there. Absolutely. And, and during the farmer's market, uh, the Worcester County Arts Council opens up early and many of the shops opens early too. And the other cool thing is being able to create your own art. I know here at the Glass Blowing Studio, that's a big thing around the holidays. You can create your own ornaments. So you can really be a part of the arts on any level here in Berlin. And for more information, where do people go, Ivy? You can go to BerlinMainStreet.com or specifically about our arts district, you can go to BerlinArtsDistrict.com. Great. Thanks so much. You're welcome. This summer, pack your bags and head to Ocean City, Maryland for free family fun all summer long. Watch beach movies, build sandcastles, and gaze at colorful kites, all completely free. Bust a move from the beach to the bay with beach dance parties, sunset park party nights, and Sundays in the park with fireworks, all completely free. Enjoy arts and crafts, discover Ocean City's history, and be in awe of acrobatic stunts at the circus, all completely free. So get going. Family memories are waiting to be made in Ocean City, Maryland. Plan your trip now at Oceocean.com. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Beach and Beyond. Be sure to tune in every Sunday morning on WMDT at 10 a.m. We'll see you next time.